Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the 2017 National Ball Hockey Championships from St. John, New Brunswick at Harbor Station. My name is Keith Raines, and we have Masters Division action underway here now against the Barry Flyers. And Barry is in the white jerseys going from right to left on your screen. And they're taking on the Halton Leafs in the blue and white, the traditional Maple Leaf uh, uh, uniforms. So uh, we have the Battle of Ontario here this afternoon in Masters action. And we're glad that we can bring it to you here from 5 TV one I we'll hope you enjoy it. Uh, in the, on the Masters side, this is, uh, be, will be their final game of the round robin portion for them in their division. Is uh, They have two divisions of uh, a three. Everyone makes a play. Oh, there's a nice feed to Roach in front. And he was able to uh, stop that. Uh, the, two, the two divisions are we have Alberta Havoc, Oshawa Bruins, and the Barry Flyers. And uh, in the other pool, we have the uh, Newfoundland Colonial Masters, the Halton Leafs, and Team New Brunswick. So what happens is they cross over and play so they get three games in the other pool. Uh, and this will be the last game uh, in this. And currently the record, uh, Halton Leafs have a one win and one loss. And Barry has one tie and an overtime loss. So they have two points. As they would get a point for a tie and they get a, a point for an overtime loss tie. So they have two. And Halton Leafs have three points as they won in regulation. But all teams will make the playoffs. It just depends on who you you know, pick your poison, as they would say. So here we are earlier on. Uh, if you're tuning in for the first time, they play two 20-minute periods. Uh, we have a short five-minute break in between. If it is tied at the end of regulation, there is, there's a shot that just goes wide. Um, a five-minute overtime, four on four. So that brings you up to date on standings and rules. And now we can just focus on the action at hand. Leafs have it. Ewing got a shot from the point there quickly. Oh, it's in! That is in! And the, the referee was right on it. It came off the boards. It hit, it hit the pad of the, uh, the goaltender. And it went in be slightly behind him. And it, if it's completely in that gray, which the referee thought it was, it's a goal. So the Leafs get on the board first here. Time out here already. It's the Flyers. So 334 uh, for the first. Some really good warm up music here in between. <laughs> Maybe it's Lisa's birthday. And we'll see who uh, is credited with that goal. But lively boards here, and you see that a lot in, in, in shots and when they're shooting. They can't get a shot on net, they'll, they just shoot it just off the net and uh, hope that their player can get the rebound uh, as it comes back out in front. But that time, uh, the angle, of the goaltender's pad, it hit his pad, 
and just snuck in just behind him. He did get his glove on it, but not until it went over the line. He's controlling it. Soul with the goal, number uh, seven. Number 14, Ray Troy. So hope, so and how? number 44, Nelson Hillary. Time of the ball, three minutes, 24 seconds. Fifteen fifty here to go here in the first period, and the Leafs are controlling the play earlier on here. As I'm focused on the right side more so than the left. <laughs> but away come the Flyers. Well, and there's another one off the boards that comes out quickly and is covered up by the uh, Leaf goaltender. And uh, number 45, Phil Goodson. So face off deep in the uh, lease end, 15-28. Shot just goes wide. Stopped at the line by Simpson. Simpson gets it back. Oh, over. Simpson, lively stick. If you get a chance, folks, visit bellalliant.ca slash TV1 for the live stream schedule and on-demand content. TV1 is also available to Vive customers in Atlantic Canada on Channel 1 and 401. Now, as I said, we have... Uh, there's another game going on at the same time over at the Lord Beaverbrook Brink, and that's Alberta Havoc taking on Oshawa Bruins. And we have one more Masters game here this afternoon, and that'll be at 3 o'clock. Team New Brunswick takes on the Newfoundland Colonial Masters, and that's a very good hockey team uh, that Newfoundland has. And playoffs for this division will start tomorrow at 9 a.m. Nice save there by Goodson. Uh, we'll start at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning and there will be quarterfinal action where division uh, second place will take on third place from division two and then at 10.30 the other quarterfinal uh, division uh, two second place team will take on the third place team of division one and the semifinals will get underway at 4.30 and 6 p.m. and that is in Masters play. Face off one by the Leafs, Be goes behind the net. The goal scorer, Soho. Sohal. And it's into the player's bench. And face off. Fourteen thirty-nine. Let's go here in the first period. Leafs struck first. Three twenty-four on a slap shot that uh, hit behind uh, the boards. That came out quickly and it went off the uh, goaltender's pads and just over the line to give the uh, the Leafs a one nothing uh, lead here. And the Leafs are from uh, Holton. Hulton Leafs just outside of Toronto. And there's a nice stop there. Control the play, get a face off. I would uh, announce who the goaltender is, but uh, his number is not on my roster. So it's uh, he'll remain a, a man of mystery, the man in the iron mask. 
Who is he? It's like the men in blue. Like, who are they? <laughs> Roy with it, uh, shoots in the deep corner. Doublestein in the back trying to get it for the Leafs. It's kept in. Doublestein's in front. Try to get to him, got a deflection. Might be in relation to Patrick, so maybe it's Wah. But since his first name's Rick, I'm going to go with Roy. Chris agrees with me, our camera crew guy, so that's who we're going with. It's one nothing here. The Leafs have the lead over the Flyers. Nice save and no rebound. Bill Goodson to save. Visit bellline.slash TV1 for the live stream schedule and on demand content. TV1 is also available to Vibe customers in Atlanta, Canada on Channel 1 and 401. Vibe TV1 powered by Bell Alliance. 1237 to go, and away comes the Leafs. Got a rush in, get it in, and get on the four check. Back to the point, push back in. Number six, Erezo. Eric Aranzo, I should say. Good ball, uh, ball control here by the Leafs. Get it in deep again, see if they get a turnover. And it's finally chipped out, so they can do a line change. Get a couple of new fresh players on. Swatch chips it in. 11.40 to go here in the first. And the Leafs have been, for the majority of this period, controlling the territorial part of the game. There's a nice spin move, rebound in front. And a nice save. They're telling us that is Colin Scrimgeour. C S C R I M G E O U R. Scrimgeour. So Colin made the save. So thank you folks for letting us know who the goaltender is. Much appreciated. Nine shots to three currently for the least over the Flyers. There's a big shot in from the point, doesn't make it. And that goes out of play. with 11-11 left. Be sure to follow TV1 Atlantic on social media. You can join the conversation at TV1 underscore Atlantic on Twitter and Instagram, and TV1 Atlantic on Facebook. Vibe TV1, powered by Bell Alliance. At this event, we also have uh, two other divisions. Uh, the ladies' division just concluded uh, their last round robin game just before this one. And we also have a senior men's division uh, going on too. So uh, 
Lots of ball hockey here this week here at the Nationals. In the, uh, there's a rebound and a nice save. The Leaf player couldn't believe that ball came right to his stick. He shoveled it back in. But uh, Colin was able to make the save and uh, keep it a one goal game. Steve Kunchi there. Couldn't believe it. There he is again. Oh, it just goes over his stick. Out comes the Flyers. Caruso. And that is called for the offside. So we'll get a face off outside the uh, leaf line. Oh. Going over on that side, okay. On the way comes the Leafs, they're four and two. Moving right in, passing around nicely. Oh, set up. Beautiful Morrison just misses. But what a beautiful setup. Nice passing play by the Leafs. And they just, uh, Morrison with a glorious opportunity just blew it wide. Morrison with it, looking around. Passes in the slot area. Nice defense. Back Jeff White, keeps it in to Morrison. Looking around for a teammate, who's, who's gonna be open? White goes along the boards. He just dumps it in front. Roach with a nice move. Gets it in behind the net, gets a little too deep. Terry Roach, back to Morrison. There's the number five playing for the Leafs, but He's not on my list either. And these lists are passed in by the teams. That's the scary part. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't know, they just forget somebody. Oh yeah, gee, Joe, I forgot about Joe, put his name, number on the list, but I, I'm double checking, I'm triple checking, and I don't see any number five. So for that, I apologize, but I can't really say a guy's name when I don't have it. So we'll just call him number five. That's uh, for the Leafs. I have to admit now, um, the ladies overall have been much better passing in their lineup sheets to us so we can broadcast them uh, a little neater. And they do manage to put every player down on the list, which is a great help. So. Ladies team, I thank you. We thank you. Uh, the guys, it's, it's been a little tougher to uh, get the roster sometimes. And uh, second phase is to have it legible. And then third phase, to have all the players on it. So, but uh, they do the best they can. <laughs> so here we are, eight minutes left to go in the uh, first period. Halton Leafs taking on the Barry Flyers, the Battle of Ontario. Going back to get it for the Leafs is Swatch. Gets it up and it's touched, so the play will continue on.
These are the team's last game of the round robin portion. As they prepare, all teams will make the playoffs. They, there's two divisions of three, so what they do is to get their three games in, they'll, they'll play the teams from the other, other pool. And uh, so uh, second will play third from each pool. And then the top place team will play the winners, uh, the, the lower seats or the higher seats, whatever, uh, in the playoffs. So their uh, quarterfinals will get underway tomorrow morning at 9. That will be quarterfinal action at 9 and 10.30, right here on 5TV1 and right here at Harbor Station. And then we have women's semifinals at 1.30 and 3. And then the Masters semifinals will get underway. And then the senior men's uh, semifinals will uh, be going on at 7.30 and 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. So a full slate of playoff games uh, coming your way tomorrow here uh, on Vibe TV One. For the, the right, who will win the gold at the 2017 National Ball Hockey Championships. We'll know a lot more in the next uh, 48 hours. Six twenty-two left to go here in period one, and it's one nothing. Leafs over Flyers, and the shots on goal currently of Leafs at ten, and the Barry Flyers at four, and the majority of the play has been down in the Flyers' end. And one thing I have been impressed with is uh, not a lot of penalties on either side, because um, these teams, uh, you know, Masters, you find a lot of the guys are very good uh, moving the ball very well, good stick handling, good shooting, and you give them on a power play, give them that extra space. Here's a nice spinorama move. That was Chris Morrison with the move, but away comes the Flyers. Caruso tries to get it in front, but it's taken away. That's uh, Jeff White with it. White holding on to it, and he lets a slap shot go. Good save there. Terry Roach. Roach looking around. Gives it to White with a big slap shot. Oh, a nice save. 531. And as I was saying, I said with the with the power plays, you get these guys. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of them are are ex ex hockey players at some level, and uh, they've been playing. Uh, they love ball hockey, and you, you, you look at the skill on how they handle the ball, passing, uh, stick handling. And, and shooting it, and that's why I say if you get them on a power play where they have a little bit more space uh, to move that ball around to get in the good scoring uh, locations, uh, that means the goalie has to come up with a big save. And uh, and there we are going to get our first penalty, and we got a hole. And I believe it's going to be uh, one of the lead players, or is it Flyers? No. The guilty party, Wade Simpson for the Flyers, got a hold. And there's that constant pressure that the Lisa put on. And uh, they're, they're getting two men on one on the Flyers there. Constant pressure on them and uh, ended up uh, a holding penalty. And now we'll be able to see a power play here and see how things go. To get Roach with the uh, faceoff. Won by the uh, Leafs. There's Chris, uh, Jeff White with it at the top. Moves over to Morrison, back to White. To Morrison, there's that ball. Morrison's looking for an opening. There's a shot deflected in by Roach. And 
Beautiful goal. 55, Jeff White just threaded it in there. And Terry uh, had beautiful position and he just deflected it past the, the Barry goaltender. And that's what I was saying about uh, with the power plays, how they can move the puck and they, they're they passing it and with purpose, shooting it with purpose. And White, rather than winding up for a big shot, he saw a, a lane, an opening there. He saw Roach had good position, good stick position. All the second goals are by number 21, Terry Roach. Uh, assistant number 55, Jeff White. So Roach with the goal to give the Leafs a 2-0 lead here. 4.18 left to go in the second period. The next goal is big. And the Flyers have got to uh, start uh, putting some pressure on the offensive end here. They want to get back in this. They've been on shot 12-4 currently. But you see that in the women's uh, the women's game too, with uh, some of the up, upper echelon teams, is the speed and the quickness of getting in on the defense uh, and creating them not a lot of time and space to think about where they want to pass the ball, and uh, you get that first player come in to engage the uh, the. Uh, the defensive player, and then that second uh, one comes in to take the ball away, and, and that's what's happened uh, with the Leafs, is they get in quickly, and uh, that's what drew that first penalty, is uh, there was two of, them on, two of them on one guy, and uh, ended up uh, losing the ball, and he, he called they call for a hold, and that put the Leafs on the power play, and put them up 2 nothing. So we'll see if the Flyers can return the favor, but here, here's a two on one, Big shot that just goes wide. Another shot back in. Oh, deflected over the top of the net. Pressure by the Leafs here. Chapman with it. Tries to get it in front and now is finally pushed away. And here comes the Flyers with an opportunity. Flute. Big shot over the top of the net by Kelly. Three minutes left to go here. Oh, there's a nice backdoor feed. Just goes wide. And that's chipped out of play. But a nice offensive series there for the Flyers to respond back after that goal. 2.49 left to go here in the second. Excuse me, the first. <laughs> I always wanted to, I, I, because I'm looking at the scoreboard, the scoreboard's right across from me and I, and I see the number two, and uh, but that's the score, not the period. We play two 20 minute periods. If it's tied at the end of regulation, we will play a five minute overtime, four and four. That flip down, and there's the speed. Morrison going in after it. Morrison gets to it. First scores! And that is a pure hustle play. Chris Morrison with the hustle play, getting out front to number five. And he makes no mistake. Hopefully we'll get his name this time since I don't have him on my sheet. So, Chris, make sure you listen for his name this time, okay? <laughs> But what, what a heads up play by Jeff White, first of all. Seeing Morrison streaking down, flips it high in the air, 
Morrison on his horse, hustling down, gets it and gets it out front to his teammate to put it in, and a, that's a big goal. Three nothing here at the end of the first. Terry Roach with it. And, but away comes the Flyers. Nice pass up. Two oh two left to go. Three nothing. Lease over the Flyers. Shot goes in deep. Oh, there's a turnover. Here's a two on one for the Leafs. Coming in, held on to it. Nice defensive play there. <coughs> Get a stick in there. That's a that was a dangerous play. 130 left to go here in the first. In comes the Leafs again with a big shot. Be sure to follow TV1 Atlantic on social media. You can join the conversation at TV1 underscore Atlantic on Twitter and Instagram and TV1 Atlantic on Facebook. Live TV1 powered by Bell Alliance. First period is coming to a close here. 113 left. The Leafs have a commanding three goal lead over the Barry Flyers. Shot in deep. Let's see if uh, Barry can get some forward checking going here. But it's only one, one person, and at least get it out quickly. Going for that long pass again, trying to take advantage of their speed. Last minute of the play. Ball handling, nice move. That's Wade Simpson with it for Flyers. Trying to kill off the last few seconds of this first period so they can regroup, come out strong in the second. Maybe they'll get one more shot, under eight seconds, but uh, at least get it quickly out. Block, they'll get another shot here. Oh, just get a piece of it. Wow, quick turnaround. And Chapman with the blast and the other shot. But that's it for the first period. At least three nothing. And shots on goal in that period uh, by the Halton Leafs, 14. And by the Barry Flyers, six. So we'll take a short break and be back for more second period action here from the 2017. Ball Hockey National Championships in St. John, New Brunswick.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to second period action here from the 2017 National Ball Hockey Championship Masters Division. Where in blue and white, their traditional blue and white, we have the Halton Leafs taking on in the white and blue, the Berry Flyers. And uh, give you a quick recap. First period, 324 in, the Leafs struck. Um, and then again at 15-14 uh, on the power play, number 21, Terry, Terry Roach with a power play goal on a nice feed from uh, Jeff White. And then at 17-22, Shindo, number five, made it three nothing on a beautiful hustle play by uh, Chris Morrison, uh, chasing down a ball deep in the corner and getting it out in front and to give that all important third goal and uh, to make it three nothing. Shot on goal that period was 14 to six or in favor of the least. And now the fly uh, Flyers can go to a power play as uh, Chapman, for the least, uh, is the number 13. Drew a penalty, a roughing penalty. So this uh, might be a chance for the Flyers to get some momentum back on their side as uh, they'll have a power play opportunity. But here comes Terry Roach. Very good player, already scored one goal today and he's just holding on to it and wasting time. Nice play as they go for a line change. And obviously with uh, the power play, it's all about ball control. And uh, right now, uh, the Leafs are doing a good job keeping the ball away from uh, the Flyers. Goes deep in the corner. Caruso passes it off. And now let's see if the Flyers, 40 seconds left to go in the man advantage. They dump it in deep. Shinsu is first on it. Eighteen oh five, thirty 30 seconds left to go in the power play here in the second period. Face off one by the Flyers. Caruso gets it back to Kelly. Sean Kelly trying to get things organized. Caruso throws it in front. Never a bad thing to do. Derek Wilson. Wilson has it. Caruso looking for the, oh, nice feed in there from Caruso. And that just is shot wide. Penalty is over. Teams are back at full strength. But a few opportunities there for the Flyers to see if they can build on that. There's a pass that just goes astray. And look at the leaf goaltender comes way out of the net. See, he's bored. You see what happens there. <laughs> That's what happens when goalies get bored. They, <laughs> they want to get more part of the play. And here comes the Leafs out. Dave Flute. And that's going to be held for a faceoff. Be sure to follow TV1 Atlantic on social media. You can join the conversation at TV1 underscore Atlantic on Twitter and Instagram. And TV1 Atlantic on Facebook. Live TV1, powered by Bell Alliance. This is the last game uh, for these two teams in the round robin portion. Uh, also going on at the same time over at the LBR is the Alberta Havoc is playing the Oshawa Bruins. 
And then the, the final game here, the Masters Division, will be at 3 p.m. Team New Brunswick will be taking on a very powerful squad from Newfoundland, the Colonial Masters. And that should be an entertaining game to watch, for sure, as those two uh, teams go at it. But right now we have the Battle of Ontario and currently uh, the Halton Leafs are having control. They're up three, nothing. Oh, what a nice glove grab. Big shot there from Jeff Waite, but a nice save by, uh, from Colin Scrimmore. Sixteen eleven to go. Shout out, go out to our sponsors here, uh, Boston Pizza, for the sponsoring player of the game awards. Pub Down Under, uh, Tim Somerville Real Estate, RMC Darling uh, Massage, Enviro Systems, and CrossFit of Chris Pam Sis. Thank you for your support. And uh, the organized committees, uh, I know a few of them, Sarah Hayward, Tired these hours of uh, they put into this. Uh, Sheila Elliott. Oh, there's a deflection. It's kept out though. And all the other volunteers that helped uh, to make this uh, pull this event off. I know in different communities, uh, things don't happen unless you have uh, great volunteers and local champions who are willing to put the time and effort uh, in. And, and people do it for different reasons. Uh, you know, they want to raise the profile of their sport. Uh, they want to give back to their sport. Uh, that's a sport that they've got a lot of enjoyment of. And I know Sheila Elliott, who's now the president of the New Brunswick uh, Ball Hockey Association, has been playing ball hockey for many years. And she's one of the coaches of the, uh, the New Brunswick uh, women's team. So, uh, but every community has their uh, local champions, and if you don't, then you don't have events. Uh, it's just as simple as that. Um, you could have great venues. Um, you could have outstanding group of volunteers, but if you don't have a local champion who's willing to put the time and effort, and then you don't have an event. And it's the same thing as you could have a great local champion who wants to do lots, uh, and you got a great volunteer base, but then you don't have venues to host. So you need all three to have a, make an event happen. And oh, there's a shot from the blue, and I think that changed direction. It uh, that was shot by number uh, 23 there, Mark uh, Penapass. And uh, I don't, we'll check to see if that was deflected or not. But uh, it, it fooled the goalie. As we said, never a bad thing to shoot it. And that makes it 4 nothing. But uh, like I said, you need all three factors. You need to have venues, you need to have a, a, a great local champion, and a great volunteer base. And if you do that, then you can uh, go after events. And here comes the lease again. Pass just goes behind. Because you get a lot of volunteers saying, listen, I don't want to be sitting on meetings for a year or six months or two years. But... That's Mark, Mark Pettipaw. So, uh, but you'll get people say, hey, listen, the week of, if you need my hand, uh, I'll, I'll be there to help you. And those people are important too. Um, so, uh, but uh, some people like, you know, I know myself, we, we put the East Coast games together and we start meeting in September for an event that's going to happen like the third week of June. But uh, we enjoy what we do. We enjoy getting together with uh, the committees. And uh, then uh, the icing on the cake is when the event actually happens and uh, it's a success. So, but we need volunteers for 
the, that weekend. And each sport uh, has their own uh, base of volunteers that they can draw from. Um, and that's what makes the event successful. So. And lots of times you get some of the volunteers, obviously the, you know, on the women's side, you get the husbands or, or mom and dads are, are helping out, uh, boyfriends, uh, whatever it takes uh, to make the, whatever they need. Sometimes they're asked, other times they're told. <laughs> There's a shot that deflected out, 14.01 left to go here in the second, four nothing Leafs. All the teams in the Masters side will make playoffs. Uh, this is just a matter of placement. And uh, second place team will play third place team in quarterfinals. And the first place team in each division gets a bye to the semis. So, of course, as you get older, one less game you have to play is sometimes good, right? So it's nice to give the body a, an extra game off. And that's what I find makes it tough sometimes. I played, uh, <coughs> there's a shot in, nice shot. And uh, a nice save by Goodson. And we got a whistle here. They call the players blown down there. Um, and I know play, play, like Masters basketball and you go to provincial championships and, and you're used to playing, you know, maybe one game, two games a week. And then all of a sudden you, you go to championships and you're, you're playing like four games in, in three days or something and your body feels like a, someone took a baseball bat at it. So, uh, oh, there's a... There's a stick that got up high in the face. And that's probably going to be a four minute. And that's number seven will be going off for... And they went into the corner and uh, the stick get up high, and obviously he needs some repairs. So that's a four minute high sticking. You know, they're, they're gonna say, you know, his arm stuck out and, and the stick rode up, and that's how he got hit. And it, but regardless, you are in charge of your stick. And uh, that's one thing uh, the referees, and uh, they make it uh, a point, and the league, uh, I mean, rules and everything vary uh, with any sort of Barry high stick. Barry number seven, Art Georges, four minutes for high sticking. Time to the penalty, six minutes, 39 seconds. Georges, second. four minutes. Barry seven, Georges, four minutes and for And even if you contact the, the ball above your shoulders like you're trying to knock it down or something that's a penalty they don't want they don't want sticks above uh, the shoulders and they want sticks got to be kept down and uh, if it's up then it's a four minute penalty like you see here so we have 1240 left to go here in the second it's four zero lease over flyers 316 left to go in the man advantage for the Leafs. And now there, there was a little discussion uh, by some of the players on the uh, on the floor. So I know the uh, referees will be keeping an eye on everything. Uh, not only uh, by hosting an event like this uh, to showcase the sport uh, in the different communities, and like we've had different people out to watch this and, and see uh, the sport itself. 
but it, it's also an opportunity for the referees because we have referees from all across the country from BC to Newfoundland here this week and they they are getting rated uh, after each game uh, they're sit down with the the, the supervisor uh, the gentleman he's from BC and they discuss you know what what went on at the you know what did they see with certain penalties uh, uh, some maybe some calls that they let go what why uh, so th they have a really good dialogue and also they get rated so the reward is uh, by doing good jobs you, you get uh, chosen to do uh, you know playoff games and uh, you know medal games so it's this is not only a, a national event for the players but it's also an event to evaluate and uh, the uh, referees and to uh, raise their uh, game too. As they're seeing, uh, you know, we have two St. John officials uh, who had a chance to uh, referee uh, some of the games here. And what a great opportunity to, uh, you know, see different competition. Now there's contact. They're going to say that was inc incidental, just two guys running into each other, which happens, uh, going after the ball. And uh, so, it, like I said, it's a learning experience for everybody. So, uh, and, that's, and that's one of the advantages of uh, hosting a championship. One minute left to go here in the power play. Lease moving it around. Those 10, uh, a little over 10 minutes to go in the game. Big shot, just goes wide. And that's how they scored their first goal today. Uh, actually, uh, a shot that went wide off the boards, came off the boards quick, hit the uh, the pad of the goalie, and just just got across the line. Oh, Lorenzo Eric with that goal for the Leafs. They just moved it around, and uh, he saw an opening there on that far side, and a lovely little snapshot. So these teams will have a break uh, today and <clears throat> they'll get back at it tomorrow morning. So they'll have the afternoon and evening off. They'll have to get some rest. Halton leaves fifth goal. A power play goal scored by number six, Eric Carrazzo. Eric Carrazzo. Uh, assist number nine, Chico Swatch. Swatch with the assist. number 44. Valerio with the assist. So that makes it five nothing. Now the challenging part for uh, these guys is if you come second or third, there's a nice say. Oh, the referee lost sight of it, so he calls a face off. The challenging part by not coming first in your pool is you have to play two games to, if you win the first. Because at 9 and 10 30, there'll be quarterfinal games. First, uh, second, uh, second in one division plays third in the other and vice versa in the next game. So if you win that, then you have to play again either at 4.30 or 6 p.m. tomorrow. So two games in one day. Yeah, maybe that's not a big deal for uh, uh, some teams, but like I said, that's the advantage of coming first, then you only have to play one game. And then the bronze medal game for Masters will be at nine o'clock on Saturday morning. And the gold medal game will be at 1.30. And 
that takes care of the master side. And obviously we have a full slate of games going on in the women's uh, division and the senior men's. 8.06 here left to go. The Leafs are handling the, the Flyers quite easily here. 5 nothing. Shots on goal. Oh! And he gets it in there. The goalie had it stopped, but he was on the left side. And he only could get his stick on it. So it was poked in by uh, Shindo, I believe, who will get the goal. So with this win, and I think uh, the Leafs should be able to hold on for this win, that will Leafs give... Leafs goal, scored by number 21, Terry Roche. Assist to number four, Orlando. They're giving it to Terry Roche. And number five, Ryan Sandler. Oh, Roche, excuse me. I couldn't make out the spelling here, but... It, I do see an E now, so that's Terry Roche. Sorry, Terry. Terry had a power play goal in the first and another goal here. Terry Roche. It's the uh, the printing of some of these teams. <laughs> so R O C H R O C R O A C H E is the spell. Okay, that makes it a little bit better. So with this win, that will give the Leafs six points. Now, the Newfoundland team is, has four, and that all depends on what will happen with uh, when they play. Uh, team NB goes at it. Okay. Masters. Let me see if I'm reading this right. Team NB, yeah, they play, they'll play Newfoundland. So we have under seven minutes left, and we have a penalty Leafs here to the Leafs. Swatch with the penalty. Two minutes for body contact. Time of the for, penalty, uh, 12 minutes. Two minutes for body contact. So. Referees are getting together, talking about what happened there. So we'll just have a face off on the outside. I was looking down on my notes, so I can't say what happened there, why they blew it down. But regardless, we have a power play for Barry. And I know they want to get a goal. They don't want it to be shut out. So uh, they'll have a sense, certain amount of urgency here with six and a half minutes left to go in the game. Minute 20 left to go in the power play. See what they can, uh, they got possession of it. Put it behind the net a little too far. But it's kept in. And nice play at the line. Big shot. Oh, a nice save by Goodson. He hasn't been called on too much, but we had to. He's been sharp. 
56 seconds left to go in the man advantage. It's a shot in. That was by Sean Kelly there. Got it through, but no rebound. And that's one of the keys for the goaltenders is, uh, first of all, you want to stop it. Second of all, you don't want to let a rebound. And if you do let a rebound, try to deflect it off to the corners rather than in front because uh, there's uh, the opposition is waiting to bounce on it. 5.55 left to go in the game. 49 seconds left to go in the man advantage. And it's kept in. Caruso with a shot and gets blocked. Here comes Sean Kelly again. Flips it in deep. And Goodson comes way out of his net. And is kept in line by Kelly. 14 seconds left to go in the man advantage. Caruso over on this other side. Under five minutes to go here in the game. Six nothing, Leafs have the lead. Shots on goal, 21-12 at this juncture. Caruso. Nice move around, and we got a penalty. That's going to be a trip. The big man with a big move. And number 17 is going off for the lead. Shot, good save by Goodson. Back to the point. And Goodson's just gonna hold on to that for a face off. One, uh, 107 left to go in the penalty. The Flyers would dearly love to get a goal here, break that shutout. There's Kelly again. Kelly moves the, the ball around nicely from that point position. There he has it again. Moves it to the other side. So nice ball movement going on here now for the Flyers. Get, they try to get it in. It's kicked away. Some soccer skills, I think, are there. Kelly gets over to the other side with a slap shot. No slap pass. Off the boards, back to Kelly. He winds up, looks for a deflection. Rebound in front. Goodson with the save. Quickly back up on his feet. And that is cleared. 
And under 10 seconds to go now in the penalty. 2.38 to go here in the game. Shot blocked in front by the defense for the Leafs. And they come away with it. Bone with it. Up and they're just happy to shoot it in deep and go get it. And whoa, Johnny on the spot was Aranzo. And he's going after it again. Eric has one of the goals this afternoon. One fifteen to go here in the second period. Final frame. The Battle of Ontario looks like it's going to be won by the Halton Leafs this afternoon. This is their last game on the round robin portion. It's a nice play out in front, and there's a penalty. <laughs> Shane is, I think, going off. Uh, gives uh, Ricky, uh, Rick a little tap there, saying, hey, man, sorry about that. Uh, I just couldn't stop. So with 56 seconds left to go, at least go back to the power play one more time. A uh, sense of urgency here, so you'll probably see them move the ball, move the ball around nicely and uh, give uh, some other guys a chance to play on the power play. That might not normally. Bone with the shot inside, looking for a deflection. Kept in. That's uh, Jeff White. Here's Bone. penalty number 27, Shane Mahotra. Two minutes for Ruffy. Time on the penalty. Sixteen seconds left to go. They're just going to play it out here, and six nothing will be the final for the Leafs, and that will move them momentarily, anyway, into top position in their pool with six points. Barry. It remains at two points and in third place in their uh, we have both teams please line up with their So they the will more than likely Well depending on what happens they could uh, They might either have to play Newfoundland or the Leafs uh, in uh, the quarterfinals So we'll see now who will be the players of the game in today's contest, brought to you by Boston Pizza. Player of the game for Barry, number 27, Shane Maholtra. Maholtra, player of the game for Barry. Chapman player of the game. 
for the leash. And that will do it here from Harbor Station as we get ready for our last uh, Masters game. That will be Team New Brunswick taking on the Newfoundland Colonial Masters. Thank you for listening. TV One broadcast of the 2017 National Ball Hockey Championships from St. John, New Brunswick.